Mars to get here, and Miru actually uh, eliminated, uh, not eliminated, he beat Charlie in winner's side, sending out the losers, unfortunately, so we'll see how. That's a huge win, right? Yeah. Think. HLB is not, uh, definitely accustomed to bidding at this level, right? Usually at Worlds Collide Wednesdays, he's actually usually within the top eight ranks. Can we um, take a second to appreciate what a weird matchup this is? This character has become HLB's moniker. I'm not gonna lie, like he was known as a Puff main back in Smash 4. This game around, he still played Puff, struggled a little bit with other characters, and then just found some kind of dominance with, with Mii Fighter. And also, we have two really great Mii Fighters now. We have uh, HLB and then we have Hockey from the Human Empire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still though, HLB is actually taking a real early lead here. Yeah. Doing a lot of damage to Nehru. Nehru? Nehru? Nehru, Nehru. Uh, it's, it's the way Got it right the first time. Yeah. Honestly, the Zelda mains sometimes are really out there, and you got to really be careful here. And that's kind of one of those things I was telling HLB earlier, right? He has a projectile in terms of the actual, like the we call it the Boba Ball, <laughs> because it's, it's, it's literally because we're awesome. in California. Yeah. Hey, Boba's a great takes the, takes the first stock. That was good to anticipate the fact that you know Nero's going to go for that kind of recovery and then immediately punch him out of shield with forward smash and using. using I'm sorry, he punched him with spot dodge. The uppy, the the drop kick. That is doing so much work for HLB yeah. right It's right. actually a really great out of shield option too in the vein of how Cloud likes to use uh, use Clum Hazard as that option. So it's really good for him. It's actually kind of one of HLB's things that he likes to do. Out of shield. And hopefully Nero will catch on to it. So far he's trying to find a way to land here and HLB. Yeah, see, he just keeps on catching him with it. Mm -hmm. I guess that's just part of the risk of facing a uh, Mii Brawler like this, right? Yeah. Because do you know what Mii Brawler does? There's so many options that it has, and it's such a rare character anyway. Exactly, and there's different like combinations that go along with the character, but it's also like, when it comes down to the character as a whole, right, you have to really start to focus on like, okay, the actual moves that the character can actually combo off of, that's what I have to fear, because what's what we saw from HLB, he was able to get the great combo there, get the corner carry, and then he almost proceeded to get the up, and that actually would have killed Deiru at that position. Nice, he commits to that forward smash. I like the coverage though, because he might have been predicting the neutral getup, but unfortunately HB does not get that up B. Finally, finally, Nehru manages to predict and punish mm -hmm. one of those up -bees. Exactly. And that's what I kind of want to see. How is he going to adapt to him using consistently up B? Nice. It's going to be a combo from up tilt. Small damage, but I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit for him to get off the corner. That definitely is going to be one of the dynamics of the match, right? Good tech chase. Great tech chase. Yeah, knowing. that was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Read it just perfectly and got the kill off of that. Usually a lot of Zeldas would look, look to space themselves away from their opponents to start setting up for night and then immediately uh, take the, take control from them as well. But HLB was not afraid to go for the full deck chase. Solid Cossack Mario up tilt combo there. Still, but HLB keeps on catching him. Mm -hmm. Honestly, we're <laughs> Nero seems to be pretty flustered at this point. Like, oh, man, I'm getting hit by up e like a dozen times. <laughs> and it just, He just keeps doing it. Yeah. And the risk reward factor at this point in this percent with this much of a lead here for HLB, like, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, he, like, he, it's this is a complete domination mm -hmm. right here. Nehru has to pull something incredible if he wants to take this game. Yeah. So HLB can just do his crazy up ease as much as he wants. Yeah, and not only that, we're seeing him play differently at the ledge, right? Because at this point, Nehru is conditioned for to watch out for up B, but we're seeing a lot of empty hops. We're seeing neutral air, and the one time he goes for it, Nehru is not completely ready. So HLB at this point, his neutral is really on point. And not only the edge guard, he's making sure he makes it up, but that time he gets punished like the second time he uh, happened. For a moment, I almost thought that was death right there mm -hmm. when he was caught off stage. But no, this is um, increasingly looking very, very ugly for Nehru. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll do it. That'll do it. How does this game end? <laughs> the upbeat. Yeah, and, and like I said, right, like at this point, his opponent become you become flustered and you start thinking about like, okay, I'm really getting hit by upbeat. But the one time he changes it in the edge guard there was he's going for empty hop. So he's going to either be looking for a grab, an aerial, a possible upbeat, if heaven forbid for him, right? When you're caught by one move like that, it's so bad, not just because mm -hmm. of the move itself, but even if you figure it up, there's still so much mix-up depth yeah. that you have. And you're not even there yet. You're still dealing with the one move. Exactly. And even I told you, like sometimes spamming can actually be proper conditioning because the one time you try not to spam your opponent's like wait i thought you were spamming and then you're like not anymore so and then you spam again yeah, and then you spam again then your opponent it's up to your opponent to start figuring out okay what should i be looking to supplement this move and not get hit by it? and for nehru he should be looking to pop up his face we didn't see a lot of dense fire at all I and mean, if anything there is some end lag as a startup to dense fire so but he, if he sees that up b and if he has some space he can definitely start looking to use that. He is going to be using a lot of Nehru's love, which is in pretty much intangible, and that's the bread and butter of Zelda. Very fitting. Mm -hmm. Oh, missed the forward smash. 
Need to be trying to get a grab out of shield. Usually very rare to see people trying to go for a grab out of shield. This is already looking a little bit better because mm -hmm. that last game started, what, like 90% with only 20% answered and Nairu's actually up this time. Oh. Nairu. Nairu. I'm good at this. Nice, and it's the fact that we kind of see Nairu, um... Nairu... Oh God. <laughs> Nairu's, Nairu's love. Nairu. Nairu's Nairu. love. Nairu's love. Nairu's love. I was gonna go with Nero. Nero's love. It's we are seeing him go for whip punishes after like down throw, so he'll see to see he'll look to see HLBs like he's gonna go for a direction air dodge. He's gonna land on the platform. So he's looking to see how his opponent reacts to definitely one of the throws. This game has been a lot slower so far, and that goes to show that uh, Nehru's attempts to set up zone have actually been working much better. Nice. Great opportunity to time the actual get up option and to get the invincibility enough to avoid getting hit by knight and forward smash. That'll cost you because, unfortunately, being able to actually DI that can be difficult, especially with the ledge. Zelda as a character has a lot of problems, but edge trapping is not one of those problems. No. Zelda has great edge trapping options. So that was what got the kill there. Still, now it's uh, the shoes on the other foot. Nehru's being edge trapped right now. Mm -hmm. and Good use of down smash. A lot of damage. Using down smash to catch the roll or the neutral get up tool as well. That's going to be a full jab. Stage control goes for the bold ball. I like that back off too because he knows like okay he's got knight here he wants to reclaim stage let me go ahead and find a whip punish because he probably might become an aggressive option yeah Nehru has great recovery has lots of ability to attack the ledge from off stage so mm -hmm. it definitely he was saved by the platform mm -hmm. oh that time he won't be saved seemingly but he's just not getting the kill and it's because he's not getting those edge traps yeah and his there it is good call out too especially knowing where he's going to land up finally the up B Naturally. Oh, miss the grab. Still, if HLB wants to finish out the set, he has got to consistently break Nehru's zone here. Yeah. He's starting to kind of give him a little bit of respect because you know how Zelda works, right? She throws out all of her, all of her specials, right? And you kind of have to respect Nine. He got uh, a little Nehru's bit overconfident love. after that first game. Mm -hmm. And now that Nero gets a little bit of breathing space here. Oh, he had a little bit of breathing space. The way HLB is kind of adapting to it. It's like, okay, I don't want to give my opponent the time to start setting up for those tools. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to be a little bit more in his zone. Great whiff punish here, and that's going to be some percent. And I missed the up tilt, which would have been a great follow-up afterwards. Yeah, he's realized that Nehru keeps on trying to retreat backwards when mm -hmm. he's off stage, and he got that kill earlier because he correctly read that that's what Nehru would do. Yeah, and even though you put yourself in disadvantage, right, going for the ledge, getting that ledge invincibly and getting that one one in five options to choose, Holy. Oh, you know, he almost got the spike hitbox, and that was really good for HLB to even still read the recovery because he knows Nehru's trying to come back on the stage that way. It's, it's down to the last stock here, but what seems to have happened is that after Nehru finally figured out how to set up his zone, HLB figured out the zone again, and mm -hmm. allowed the B is resume. Exactly. Mixing mixing time with aerials, hops, empty hops, great parry there. No follow-up, unfortunately, because you are caught on the platform. That's why HLB goes for it. Like, he knows when sometimes he's going for it and your opponent's on the platform, and this is going to be too bad for you. Oh, I mean, I feel air. really bad for Nehru, because when you lose to something like this, right, you, mm -hmm. you walk out of that game saying, what do you even do about that? But that's assuming he loses. He's still in this. It's last stock. Yeah, well, one more attempt here. He just has to get off the ledge first. Use a dash dance, and that's a great mix-up because Nehru thought that when the minute HLB turned around, he was going to be safe. But you're never safe, man. That up B has been the one thing that's been catching you all it's game. It's always there. You turn around. Yeah. That up B is behind you. You look in the mirror in the at night. That up B is waiting for you. Exactly. Uh, great stuff. And honestly, it's a lot of conditioning against Nehru. Like, he kind of reversed things around.